The good news is it is year 81. It is early spring, and last year we produced 73,000 units of food, consumed 61,000, so we are making so much food. I've also turned off death notifications by old age, but oh my god, a lot of people died. A lot of people died in early spring of this year. We are down to very, very few laborers. We are in need of nomads, I think. Obviously, a lot of kids coming through as laborers, but I think we're really kind of desperately in need of nomads. We have enough food per year to uh, keep them doing their thing. You know, they'll, they'll be able to eat we have enough tools at the moment. We just I I I want nomads. It's it's a quick and easy way to uh to make this work. It really is. I just don't I mean, I guess they come around every other year, don't they? Nomads aren't necessarily a guaranteed thing on a on a regular basis. It's every few years when they kind of feel like it. So we'll see. If things start getting particularly bad, like if we get down to one laborer left, I'm gonna start turning off some schools. I know that's terrible, and I know that's just gonna result in some issues down the line potentially, uh, but that kind of feels like, that kind of feels like the only choice I've got right now, in a lot of ways. I just, I just don't know. I'm really nervous. We have a lot of kids being born, though, so maybe... Maybe it'll work out. I just, I'm, I'm nervous. What can I say? I'm really, really nervous that we're going to start losing people in different jobs. Because that's when things start getting really rough. That's when things start getting to be a real pain. You know, when, uh... When your blacksmiths stop working or your miners stop working. You start running out of tools. When the tools run low, the farmers don't do a good job. When the farmers don't do a good job, people start starving to death. So, you know, or if all the farmers start dying, suddenly you don't have enough food for people and they start dying of starvation. You know, it's every, every little thing in the game can lead to a pretty serious spiral out of control. So I need to I need to stay on top of it. We beat the issue that we had with people being cold. We've conquered the issue with hunger and not enough food. Uh, we seem to be trying to stay on top of the issue with uh, with blacksmiths and everything like that. We we beat dysentery. We did that as well. I'm just really really nervous because we're on two laborers. I don't know. We have a bunch more tools here. I... Do we automatically purchase them? We do. I'll tell you what. Let's just leave that be and see if we do automatically purchase them. I don't know if that's a thing we will do or not, but we'll see. We're also up to 60 students again, and never mind, someone's just got, uh... Someone just graduated. We actually had a couple of people graduate, which is good. A bunch of kids being born as well. <laughs> I'm so nervous, man. I really am. I really, really am. What's also amazing is the fact that we have three full mines producing iron right now, and we are actually struggling with iron because the uh, the trading post takes so much of it. Like, it takes a good 150, 200 every, uh, every chance it gets. Obviously, that's kind of important. It's kind of useful for trade, but it's interesting that three mines can't really keep up. That's that's very strange. We're also done no to uh, no laborers right now. We don't eat. We are we are missing four gatherers too. Four gatherers. We're missing uh, twelve vendors. Could probably lower the number of stone cutters. Actually, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. We can do that. We have a lot of stone, and we're not really using stone all that much. So keeping that number a little bit lower kind of seems like a good idea. That's definitely one place we can cut back because we're just, like I said, we're not using it. It's not being used in construction. I'm not building anything right now. I think all my roads are built as well. So again, we just aren't building anything right now. 
Now, what I am curious about, it's late autumn. How are we looking on food? Production this year is already 60,000. Consumption isn't even, for, well, it's 44 flat, so... That's beautiful. I love that we fixed the food problem, but we've now run into a population. Like, we have more than enough, more than enough food for the population. But we don't have enough population to sustain all of our jobs. Because they keep dying. This, this is, this is a weird situation I'm finding myself in here. I don't really know how to deal with it. Oh, we did just auto-purchase all of that. That's beautiful news. 673 stored tools. Not bad. Not bad at all. Where else could we make some cutbacks here? I want to say we could pull out maybe five miners. I mean, I know we can't. I know we kind of have a problem there with uh, with the miners because of the whole iron thing, but I need to stay on top of the laborer thing too, so we'll see. We'll definitely see. Either way, 60, chil 60 students, 60 children, decent numbers. I'm just starting to think that we turn off a school at this point, though. I really am, unless we can get nomads. And, I, I, again, it's weird saying that, because nomads feel kind of cheaty, but... At this stage, I mean, we have the food for it. We do have the food for it, we just don't have, you know... We don't have a population, and that's what we need. That really is what we need. Also, should I build another house over here? Could build like a... I was gonna say a solitary stone home, but it doesn't really fit in there. Never mind. What are the designs in the stone houses, actually? I've looked at these before, but I, I want to see here. So there's that one, which is kind of neat. Uh, that one's very simple, but I like it. This one is very similar to... Where is it? Don't we have one of these? Over here? Yeah. Very, very similar design. Very similar design. In fact, yeah. It doesn't quite, it's not exactly the same, but it's, uh, it is similar, which is all right. Then there's this one, which is quite nice. There's this one as well, which I think we've used. I, th I want to say we've used that one. I'm not sure where, but I, I feel like I've used this one somewhere. I just genuinely don't know where. I feel like we've looked at this stone house at one point and gone, that's quite nice. Then this one, and then the tower. I do love the tower one. That's quite nice as well. Either way, I just feel like we've got so much waiting to do right now. It's, it's a waiting game where... I don't know if I'm going to win because of everybody dying. I mean, on top of that, there's also, there's kind of no struggle right now. Uh, we've also got a child named Yoshi being born there. But what I, what I mean by no struggle isn't that, you know, obviously I'm having issues with, with the population, but I mean, in the grand scheme of things, there's nothing I, I feel I can do right now without just straight up turning off a school. But even then, I don't know if that's going to do me any favors. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the solution is, is what I'm getting at here. Cattle and chickens? Now we good. You get out of here. I feel like I made a mistake putting a lot of my nomads the last time. Oh, we now have no laborers left. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't like that. I don't like that we have no laborers left. But I think we're going to have to just let let it go. You know, we're going to have to let it slide. We're going to have to let things happen. We're going to have to see what happens. I don't, li <laughs> don't like that we're in this situation. I really don't. 
I'm really, really wanting to turn one of these schools off. Yeah, we're doing it. We're do we're turning the school off. I'm not. I'm not running out of. Uh, I'm not running into problems with no labor. I'm not going there again. We've been there before. We're not doing it again. We'll get a massive amount of laborers, and then we'll turn the schools back on. Not before a massive amount of laborers, though. That's just the way it's going to have to be. Um, I'm also thinking that we are never going to get to upgrade a lot of houses to, uh, to stone houses. Because we just don't have the iron for it. Because we're consuming so much on, uh, on tools. But I'm kind of tempted to try, at least. So, you know what? Let's do it. We have enough stone. We have enough wood. Let's upgrade the houses here. Right, let's let's upgrade these guys, these six houses. We'll make some people homeless for a little while, but they'll manage, I'm sure. I hope they'll manage. It's going to be really awkward if they don't. Uh, but we'll get those upgraded. Obviously, that's 60 iron, but I mean, we have 600 tools right now because we automatically buy them, so I think we'll be okay. I don't think there's any reason to stress there, and it's going to make our town center look kind of good, too. You know, getting these houses in here, it's going to make the town center look a little bit fancier. And a little bit fancier is always, always welcome. So we'll see how that plays out. We don't have any builders. I've just <laughs> literally just realized. Don't have any builders, so we'll get one guy on that. And uh, I'm noticing, actually, the number of children, it is going up pretty well there. So here's hoping that uh, that goes well for us. I'm really just waiting on nomads. I'm going to be honest. I hate I hate sounding like a broken record, and I'm really conscious of it. I, uh, I, I, how do I phrase this, like, without sounding like a whiny little whatever. Uh, I'm really conscious of, of when I sound like a broken record, basically. So, there was an episode of Two Point Hospital I recorded recently where I kept having to repeat myself because nothing really happened. Because we just kept running into these issues, and I think I explain it in an episode that's coming up soon. Uh, I kind of explain the issue, so, you know, if you want to figure that out, go there, but... The point is, right now, I'm very aware of the fact that all I'm doing is saying a lot of, Oh, I'm waiting for nomads. Oh, the population's not good. Oh, well, maybe do this, maybe do that. Hopefully this will turn out. I'm really conscious of that. And a part of me is like, oh, you know, don't up, you know, delete this, you know, just skip time until whatever. But at the same time, part of me is like, well, this is kind of part of the game. This is kind of part of the struggle, you know? So it's, it's tricky. It's tricky. I don't know if this is, uh, I don't know. Let me know, let me know in the comments, I guess. You know, is it like this kind of episode? And we'll use this episode to base future episodes off of. Um, oh, Rome has become an adult and is working as a laborer. Well, Rome wasn't built in a day. Uh, but yeah, let me know, like, is this kind of thing something that you'd rather see me kind of chop up into something quicker? Or, uh, you know, just not show at all or whatever? Because I, I don't know. I am really conscious and aware of the fact that this might not be the most exciting. Just kind of sitting around waiting on some kind of divine intervention from the game, I suppose. But again, it is part of the game. That's, that's... I'm gonna struggle through it one way or other, so you might as well struggle through it with me this time. Oh, no, 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 no. We are... <laughs> We are not having a good time. Just not having a good time. I don't like it. It seems like it's... Oh, we got the tower houses here. Look at these. Oh, those are fantastic. I'm really pleased it's those houses that we got here. They're going to look really good against the, uh, against the town square. They are going to look really good against that. 
Okay, I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, I'm assuming we bought a bunch of tools again, as we usually do when uh, someone comes by with tools. So that's all right. We're up to 700 tools at the moment. Tell you what, let's maybe let's maybe purchase like a hundred at a time at this point. Because I feel like we don't need to purchase 250 every time. I feel like we just don't. I feel like that's a little bit of overkill right there. So we'll not bother doing that. It is uh, it is definitely a little bit silly. And we're down to no laborers again. Oh, please, just give me a, give me a bunch of nomads. Give me a massive population boost. Give me a bunch of laborers. Give me something here. Can I, can I see like the, oh, no way. <laughs> it did. It did. Yes. <laughs> that timing, though. <laughs> that timing could not have been better. Uh, let's go to, let's stick on 40 for the mining. Uh, let's go up to woodcutters and get those back. And that's fine. <laughs> I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. Uh, interestingly, clothing has dropped off in a pretty big way there. Can I look at, uh, something else? Can I, can I look at some different graphs? Like, I'd love to look at the, the average age. You know, that, that's something I'd love to see. Just the average age of my population. Interesting that the number of students and children barely grows. That's kind of, I mean, it has a nice back and forth there where it sort of weaves around a little bit. But, uh, it's, it's interesting that compared to the very, the very noticeably positive trend, like if you were to draw a straight line, you know, sort of through the average of this, this green line or the yellow line, it would have a very sort of, well, upward slope, very positive trend. Uh, whereas these ones are almost neutral. I think that's the phrase. I think it's positive, neutral, and then negative is a decline. Um, they're not neutral. They're very slightly positive. Where, you know, from, you know, compared to 100 years, well, not 100, let's do 50. Compared to 50 years ago, you know, they have both gone up a little bit. But it really is just a little bit. So that's that's kind of curious to me. That is kind of curious to me. Interesting that the nomads have immediately all become homeless. That's great. I mean they'll they'll have some houses here when they get built, so there is that. We'll see how that ends up working out. Pretty sure we could probably turn the school back on. You know, get a teacher here. Cuz uh we have about 100 children, so I think we'll manage. Uh, and I do think a couple more houses could be an idea. So let's come down here and say... Throw you... Uh, one... Two... And three. We'll do three of those and that combined with the houses... Up here... Will hopefully be enough for the, uh, for the nomads. Even then, I mean, looking at this... 19 laborers is nothing compared to what we had. There was an outbreak of typhus? Seriously? <laughs> Hello? Can we can we can we get rid of that very quickly? Or is it gonna spread around like wildfire and just kill everybody? Oh no, you're in the you're in the hospital and I guess they're all in the hospital? So I think we've contained it. Which is always nice. We're down to one person with typhus. And down to no people with typhus. There we go. Not bad. Oh wow, we just had a lot of kids get born there. Alright. That works out. 
As long as kids keep getting born and, you know, we see them go to school or whatever, we'll we'll be fine. I will say, I, I'm i tempted, I'm always tempted to turn off this uh, pop-up notifications on death by old age, right? I'm always really tempted to do that, but I feel like I wouldn't pay attention to my population if I didn't have that, like, noticeable ding in the background every time. I just, I just wouldn't. And I don't like that. I don't, I, I kind of like having that ding there because it reminds me that people are keeling over left and right, which they are still doing. They are absolutely still just dying left and right. We had 24 laborers. We are down to six laborers. That is nuts. That is, that is just, that is just silly. Production's still pretty good, which is always, always a plus. This graph is just weird to me. You would kind of expect the pot, like, as the population grows. I also love when you can see a spike from nomads. Like, these, these very sudden jumps right here are all nomads. But the, it's, it's just strange to me that this, the growth... You know, as these lines climb, these ones have stayed fairly, uh, fairly flat. Oh, wow, that food one, though. That food one was... I guess that's what, when the tools were kind of on the decline, and then this is the recovery period from that. Logs are apparently on the decline at the moment. They are almost the lowest they've been in 25 years. Uh, but they are... Oh, they peaked a little... They peaked a few years ago. Well, that's interesting. Okay. What about stone? Stone... St oh, wow. Stone really hit rock bottom for a while there. Iron is... Abysmal. Interesting. Iron was doing really well for a while. We had over 600 at one point. Firewood fluctuates like crazy. Coal is non-existent. Tools are better than ever. Herbs are staying consistent, at least. Clothing is non-existent. Let's just keep an eye on population, I suppose. Uh, production this year already looks like it's going to be higher than last year, so that's a plus. All right, well, I mean, it seems like things are going kind of well in a lot of places, just not the population again. That's always nice. Always a nice feeling when... Uh, when the population just isn't... It's just not growing properly. It's not growing without these influxes of, uh, of nomads. We're not getting enough people growing up. We don't have enough kids. That's, that's the weird thing. So maybe we need to... Maybe we need to deconstruct a little bit. Maybe we have so much food... Uh, and, and that's, that's maybe part of the problem, I suppose, right? We have all this food, not all of it gets consumed, so maybe turn off, you know, two of the farms. You know what I mean? Turn off two of the farms, go down to 164 workers, we'll save, you know, we'll, we'll get a couple more, let's see, what do you got? Walnut seeds? Nah. We'll get, you know, a few laborers out of that, that's all well and good. Obviously, I like having my farms up and going, but, I mean, if we look, it's early spring right now. Last year, we produced 73,000, consumed 60,000. What that says to me, I suppose, and I probably should have realized this sooner, we have a lot of people doing work that we don't need them doing. Because we have, what was it, 70,063 or something like that? Uh, 7360. We have 13,000 food excess every year. So turning off a couple of, a uh, couple of farms, I don't think, I don't think that's gonna hurt. And I feel like I should have realized that a bit sooner. Having these food stockpiles is great, but, uh, also completely unnecessary. It is also completely unnecessary, so hopefully we'll see a little bit of progress there. Uh, let's go ahead and just extend that over like so. 
We'll get those built at some point. Keep that population climbing. We have got all the schools filled at the moment. We have 89 children. Here's my question, though. What age does a child go to... I wonder at what age does a child become a... laborer versus... Like, if they're uneducated, when do they become a laborer versus being educated? Because if the ratio is still, like... Like, for example, say they became a laborer at 16, right? Does that mean... Like, I assume they then stay in school a bit longer? So maybe if they don't go to school, they'll become a laborer at 16, right? If they do go to school, they'll become a laborer at 18. So they have two extra years where they're not working, but when they come out, they are more efficient. Now, I'm just, I should say, I'm pulling those numbers off the top of my head. I'm not uh, out of thin air, actually. I don't, I haven't read up on this. I'm going to, I will, I'll do it between episodes. I'll look up in the wiki and see if there's a, if, if that information's there. Um, in fact, hold on. You have just become an adult working as a laborer. Uh, Lore, Lorenel, right? So you're a laborer. Uh, it's not you, it's not you, it's not you. It is you. So you're 23. So you finished school at 23. Which is fair enough. Now you're a student age 10. You're not very happy. But that's interesting. So we have a laborer here age 10. We have a laborer age 10, age 10, age 38, 21, 70, 62, 47. So, so they could stay in, wait. So they could stay in school for a long time, potentially. That's interesting. That is, that is very interesting, okay. I'm gonna need to, uh... I'm gonna need to look into that a little bit. Definitely feeling like I need to do some research there, and definitely feeling like I need to... I mean, what, you, you've just... Kings has just become a laborer. At 25. And 25 for Ferna as well. Okay. So yeah, that, that kind of tells me that they really, like the schools keep them out of work for a long time. If we can have 10 year old laborers who don't go to school, that says to me that Assuming the game is balanced properly, which I would assume it is because, I mean, it came out in 2012. I don't know when the last update was, but I would assume the game is balanced. I would assume that the bonus you get from them going to school, I have to assume that is significant. Like, it, with that kind of delay before they become a part of the workforce, it would have to be, right? I just don't know. <laughs> I really don't. I'm really quite confused at the moment on uh, on the whole thing. Either way, I feel like I've learned something here. I, I do feel like... I feel like I've done a little bit of learning there. And I'm curious to see what... Uh, what I'll find out on the wiki. I'm actually really curious to see what I can learn from the wiki, because that's something with this game I haven't read. Ever. I, I've never really looked up the wiki for Banished. And I feel like, considering we've got a population of over 500, uh, considering we have, you know, 164 farmers, we have so many people doing so many different jobs, I feel like, you know, I've done all this without looking at the wiki. What could we do with all of this 
if we go and look at the wiki. So let's go look up some information on Banished. And let's see what kind of crazy nonsense we can figure out. <laughs> 